Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and showing with you guys how to use the Switch Mate Instant Smart Lighting Device. This is a device that makes any switch light or light switch into a smart light switch. And this is the new version. There's a couple versions already. Uh, this is the one with the motion detection and it's also compatible with Google Assistant. And I think if I'm not mistaken, if you're using the Wink Hub, you can actually pair this with the Alexa as well. Now, the reason that I want this is because I have a, a, a in my kitchen one of the lights that I want to leave on and put on a timer. Um, and this right here seems so simple and it's really cheap. It's around $30. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you with you guys how to use it. This is the motion activated lightning one, which is the new one. It's going to be a little bit more thinner. Like you see right here, it says snaps over lighting switches, uh, timer. This is the main reason I purchased it because it has auto on and off timer even when you're away. Phone call and wall control, whatever the hell is that. No tools, no wires, no worries. And basically that's it. Like you see here, you're going to see some information there. But let's go ahead and open up right here. And it's really simple. It says snap on, tap the app open the app and enjoy instant home. So let's see if it's actually that easy. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in my description. That way, if you wanna buy this, you could go ahead and buy it for using that link and it will also help my channel as well. Um, here you got instructions. Here you got some stickers there. I don't know if we actually have to use these stickers, but you have these stickers right there. You have some other instructions there and warranty. If I'm not mistaken, it has a one year warranty. You just have to register it after you log in online, you have the instructions right there. So don't worry about that. It uses two AA batteries and it's included. That's good, that's included. And that's it, that's nothing more there. And here it is. This is the light switch that actually is gonna help you toggle the existing old fashioned toggle light switch and it's gonna make it smart, being able to control it with your, your, your smartphone. Now, before we keep on going, make sure you download this application, which is the Switch Mate application. I'll leave a link in my descriptions as well. When you hit the plus button, you're gonna see these options right here. You got light, Switch Mate, and power re receptacle. There's gonna be other things coming soon, like a camera security system and zip. But of course, we're gonna use this one right here but not yet. Okay, now we got the battery. Now here, of course, let's go ahead and take this out. And this is where the battery, AA battery goes. Now, these AA batteries should last a lot. Okay, look at that. That thing went up. Whoop, holy crap, what the hell was that? That surprised me right there. I don't know why it moved. There you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa. Okay, take it easy, bro. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I was supposed to press any button or something like that, but there it goes. I don't think so. So this part goes up, okay? So now let's go ahead and see if we can actually link it up before we even go to the wall to show you guys how to set it up. So go ahead and press right here, and it says here, press the center button. Okay, there you go. Just looking for the device, verifying. Oh yeah, look at that, firmware update available. Firmware will be updated, let's go ahead and update that. There you go. Oh, so that's pretty nice that it actually had an update available for this device right out of the box. Okay, so like you see right there, we have the percentage going, it's going 84, 89, it's gonna end up really soon. So that was pretty fast there. It only took like less than two minutes to identify, verify the version, download the latest firmware, and update in less than two minutes. It says update firmware 100%. Okay. So am I supposed to wait for something here? There you go. Pairing. Look at that. And that's it, right? It says pairing. Ooh, look at that. Just like that. So this, I'm gonna actually put it in the kitchen. Let me see, we got porch, garage, living room. Uh, remember, you can also change this whenever you want. So if, let's say you choose something like a kitchen, you could change it to the family room. I'm gonna choose dining room because that's where, exactly where I wanna put it. 
And here it says uh, select an icon for your device in the dining room. We got lamp, vent, and overheads. I'm going to put overheads. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Overheads, just like that. Boom. There you go. It says change the device settings. Check battery, capacity, and firmware update right here. Voice activation. Toggle the device using the voice. Cool. And tap the device icon to toggle. Also, the device icon will be gray when it is out of connection. Okay, so look at here. So that's it. So right now, if we press here, look at that. It, you can hear it going on and off. And that's it. Nice. So that is really cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where I'm going to put this. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys where I'm going to actually be putting the switch mate. Uh, like I said, in the dining room right here. And I want these to turn on by timer or whenever I want to use the application. Because I want it to light up when I'm not home and from the outside these three windows can light up that way it looks like somebody is in the house and the light switch is right there which is i'm going to put the switch mate right now oh, okay so i already showed you where am i going to be putting this switch mate which is really really easy this thing has like magnets in the back so it's gonna attach to your light switch really really easily and remember this part right here has to go to the top uh, once you figure that out, just make sure you f take that sticker off. But once you put it like that, right, it's going to be set up to the top. If you did mess like I did uh, with the application right before you put it, make sure it's actually set to top. Okay, so now with the lights on, set to up, right, with the lights on, you're going to go ahead and attach that. And that's it. That's how easy it is. You don't need no screwdrivers. You don't need anything else. Just that. You just put it on like that. Take it off. If you want to put it in another room, you can also do this, move it to another room. And basically, that's it. You have it installed already. But now we're going to show you guys how it actually works here in the application, which is really, really simple. Right now it's on, right? So if I turn this, it will automatically turn the lights off just like that the lights just went off that's why the lights dim down and turn it on so like you see there there's a that noise right there sounds a little bit cringy you know i don't know it's a little bit cringy but it's doing the job i don't know i hope it doesn't damage the the switch or anything like that but look at the sound Eek, I don't like the way it sounds. Um, if you want to add another switch, you could just tap right there and add another switch. But now let's go ahead here to settings. Oh, first of all, there's a microphone right there, but you have to have it set it up with your Google Assistant. Because if I go like this, turn off the lights, it won't do nothing. Oh, look at that. It did do it. Look at that. Turn on the lights. Oh, wow, that's weird. It didn't want to do it for me before. Now it's doing it. So I actually thought that you did need the Google Assistant because I don't have one. That's the reason why I was going to tell you guys that you actually needed a Google Assistant. I don't have one and it actually worked. Turn off the lights. Oh, crap. That's nice. Turn on the lights. Cool, that was cool. So now let's go ahead and hear settings. Um, if you want to enable Google Assistant, you just tap right there and it's gonna tell you input pairing code into a Google Home app. Right now I don't have one, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, right here, let's go click right there. It's gonna take you into this device features. So right here, if I wanna change this, I could go ahead and click right there and change it to vent or lamp or just leave it overhead. If I wanna change the overhead name to lights, I could just do that. So right here we got motions. You got, right now I could go ahead and enable it or disable it. it. By default it's disabled, but you could go ahead and turn it on. And right here you have a duration. Uh, you can put it for 15 minutes. Uh, you can enable the, the motion all day or disable. And, or you can actually, Let's go ahead and put this, let's go ahead and put this from dusk, right? 
to dawn. There you go. So based on your location, it's going to actually choose the time for dusk and the time for dawn. And it's going to activate between those times, which is very cool. Now you have two timers here. You can set a timer one from a specific time. For example, if I want to set it up to start at 8.30 p.m. or 8.29, click save. If I want to turn it off at midnight, click save. And that's it. You have your first timer on. And you can set it up. You can set up another timer. So, for example, if you're not going to be home, you want this to turn off, for example, 1 a.m. and turn off at, you know, like a 1.30 or something like that. Let's go ahead and put something like that. Let's go ahead and put it like that. Save. And that's it. So, you can have up to two timers. Uh, welcome home feature. This is basically it says the welcome home feature will automatically turn on your switch mate once per day when you come within range. Okay, so you could turn that on if you want. Here you can set the time that you want, for example, to recognize you and all that. Turn that off. Uh, reverse this right here. Like if, for example, let's say your switch is different. Instead of on being up, it's on being down. So you click right here, reverse. And then instead of doing, um, instead of turning on when up, it turns on when going down. So that's the reason you have that. Here you can see the percentage, which is cool that you can actually see the percentage of the AA batteries there. Cool. And here you got the device info. So you can see the firmware, the MAC address, and the firmware version. Or you can actually restore, reset if you actually need to do that. And basically that's it. There's nothing more you need to do here. Uh, keep in mind, this connects to the switch mate using Bluetooth, not the Wi-Fi, which I was hoping for it to be working on Wi-Fi, but it doesn't. Uh, so that means the timer, yes, you can do it. You could be uh, traveling and put the, set up the timer, but you cannot control the lights if you are away from home and your device is connected to the Wi-Fi, which that would have been ideal, but no, this, is, this doesn't do that. So once you do that, you're done. You can add as many as switch lights as you want or power receptacles as well. And we are done. So that is pretty damn cool if you ask me. And now I have a timer, which is the feature that I wanted uh, for this device. Now remember, this actually has the motion sensor. Right now it went off or on. Uh, because it has the motion sensor. Uh, the motion sensor, I already tested it out uh, right before I started recording this section of the video. And for it to work, you actually have to walk right in front of the, swi of the switch mate. If you walk away from the switch mate, it's not going to recognize you. But if you, rec if you walk like in front of the switch mate, it will actually identify you and turn on. And of course, if there's no movement or anything like that, it will turn off automatically depending on the time that you chose right here. So guys, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a link for this device in my descriptions. And if you have any questions, please ask. Um, if you want to ask a couple months from now, how is this device working? Is it still working good for me? I'll let you know in the comments. But so far, I really like it, and for the price, it's only around $30 to $35, depending where you buy it from and the time that you buy it, um, buy it at. So I'm going to leave a link in my description for, for you to buy this and support my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please like it and share it as well with other people. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.